Hello and welcome once again to 101 Things Jesus Has Done For You. Today we'll take our anchor scripture from Galatians 2.20. We are on our 90th thing that Jesus has done for you. Yes, Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus lives in us. Do you believe that? As a child of God, Jesus lives in you. Paul first encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus. After that, he made such a turnaround that he even changed his name so the so the persecutor of Christians and became Paul the one of the church's foremost apostle. Hallelujah. We all know that Paul did was not saved early like Peter and the rest, but he is someone the Lord used a lot. He wrote most of the books in the New Testament. Okay, later he wrote to the Galatians, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God. That is Galatians 2.20b. So complete and all-encompassing was that encounter with Christ that it affected every part of his being. If anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old is gone, the new has come. And we see this typically in Paul, Saul who became Paul. He made sure that his lifestyle was the very opposite of what he had been or how he was. It means that when Christ comes into our lives, he, he changes everything and he makes us brand new people. At times, it takes time. At times, it is very fast. The only thing we need to know is allow him to have his way in our lives, to control us, to guide us, to lead us in whatever we do. And so just as, just as it did for Paul, the new life we have in Christ touches our minds, soul, and bodies. People of God, this new life in Christ is not just saying it with our mouth, but it touches our minds, it touches our souls, and it touches our bodies. He becomes part of us, and we are never the same. When Christ comes into our lives, we are never the same. We are never the same. He makes us part of him. He makes us be like him. As he is, so are we in this world. We are ambassadors here on this earth. We represent Christ here on this earth. And so, definitely, there must be a difference that shows that we have come to know the Lord. When we give ourselves first to the Lord, we can present ourselves as living sacrifices in whatever the Lord, wherever the Lord leaves, leads us. Yes, it is first of all, giving our lives unto him. Other than that, we may lose hope if we are trying with our own strength and with our own ways we will lose hope because people may disappoint us and it will affect the work we do. But if we build our houses or our faith on that solid rock, my hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. People of God, other than that, we'll do everything we do with our own strength and in the, along the way we'll lose hope and quit. But Christ saves us so he can use us, just as he used Paul 
He's ready to use us for his own glory. So do not abandon the faith. Do not turn your back on the faith. Jesus is still there. The Holy Spirit is still here to help us be on our feet. God bless you. Please share the word and draw a soul to Christ. Please follow me on Facebook and on TikTok. And subscribe to my YouTube channel too. And God richly bless you. Have a fruitful day. I'll come your way next time with the 91st thing Jesus has done for you. Gradually, we are finishing our book. God bless you. Bye-bye.